right, good morning, friends. Welcome to Miss Wandermust Travels. It's time for another adventure today. We are going to explore Bighorn Mine. This hike is up in San Gabriel Mountains. The closest uh, surrounding city is called Wrightwood. And it is about two and a half hours from San Diego. So I got up bright and early this morning to start this hike. Just a bit of advice. It's always best if possible to start hikes early in the morning and on a weekday if you can because it's just less it's less busy and it, it's a little more enjoyable that way so i just wanted to show you guys the passes uh, parking passes that are honored here at uh, bighorn mine we have the america the beautiful pass uh, which looks like this then also the local passes daily adventure pass and the annual adventure pass i bought my pass uh, at rei the day before you can also buy the passes at like looks like the nearby visitor center or um, nearby markets and hardware centers we will be taking the trail, the Mine Gulch Trail. The, the entrance to the hike that you're looking for is the one uh, with this gate, do not block gate sign. This will take you to Vincent's cabin and also to Bighorn Mine. Don't, don't go this way. <laughs> you wanna go this way. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a little history lesson about Bighorn Mine. It was started in 1895 by a man named Tom Vincent. Uh, that was actually his AKA. His real name was Charles Vincent. And I'll tell you a little more about that a little later. Um, so he, he was here uh, hunting for bighorn sheep, actually, which still are known to roam the area. Hopefully, maybe we can see some today. That would be amazing. But yeah, so he was a skilled hunter, skilled shooter. Um, was hunting bighorn sheep one day and discovered gold. Um, he then started the bighorn mine and that was in 1895. So why does Tom Vincent have an AKA? Um, this gentleman was, was known to be a skilled shooter, lived in Arizona, uh, and had some people, some men, ransack his cabin one day and killed them all, shot and killed them all, three men. S the rumor is he ran away to California to hide, found, found a nice secluded area here in the San Gabriel Mountains and built himself a cabin where he lived for most of his life in seclusion. Um, and we'll visit, we're gonna visit that a little later. The main minerals that were found in Bighorn Mine were gold, silver, copper, and lead. The mine was said to have made a $100,000 profit during its lifetime, and Bighorn Mine is the largest mine in the San Gabriel Mountain area. The total length of all the tunnels in this mine is said to be about two miles. So it's, there's a lot of cool tunnels down there, but I know, a lot of it's probably caved in and blocked and um, stuff. So we'll see when I get there because I brought my flashlight this time, my, my heavy duty flashlight. Um, and we're gonna check out as much as we can in there. Here we are at the intersection. Um, to the left, you have Mine Gulch Trail. That is gonna take you down this trail to Vincent's cabin. So let me just back up a bit. Mine Gulch Trail is going to take you down this trail to Vincent's cabin. Okay. Then we have Bighorn Mine sign. Trail is this way. This is going to take you to the Bighorn Mine. All right. That's the way we want to go first. Here we go.
kind of cool. This is actually a little entrance to a mine here. Um, I, if, I, if I am right, this is Fenner Mine. You don't want to stop here. This isn't the big one. Um, I know, I think they, they advise not to go in this one. It's kind of sketchy, but ooh, you totally can crawl in there. So here we are approaching the Stamp Mill housing building. This is where the miners lived while they were working. The entrance to Bighorn Mine is this way, up this trail. And here's our entrance, Bighorn Mine. So you see the, the doors kind of unlatched here. There was a gate at one time that was cut off so people can get through. So of course, guys, we're gonna go inside and check it out. Here we go. I'm gonna have you watch me climb inside. <laughs> Much skill and precision. Woo, made it. We made it inside Bighorn Mine. Here we go. Nice. What I have read about this mine is that you can go back about 400 to 500 feet. Um, and then it gets a little risque. Um, there are a total of two miles of mines down here and I actually just talked with a family outside that said uh, their son used to come down here and like swim through the water and find little pockets of air to come up and go f way far down in the mine and explore all the time so I'm not not gonna be that adventurous today all right so going a, a little deeper okay there's a little water here Ooh, let's go this way. See how far we can go. This mine is huge. Like multiple people could fit in here um, at one time. Lots of water dripping down. And there's the ceiling up there. You can see that someone who has gone ahead of us it's kind of marked a little pathway to let you know you're going the right way. We'll see how, how far in here we can go, guys. Very neat. Um, the water's not too deep. If you have, a, I have some big waterproof hiking boots on, you should be okay. 
Wow. This looks like salt or some type of mineral. I don't know. Um, I'm thinking it's salt mineral, but uh, or maybe lime or lye. I'm not sure. I'm going to look it up, see what mineral. This is definitely a mineral coming, dripping down. Maybe we'll see some bats. That would be nifty. This mine is huge. Um, wow. Looks like, whoop, water. Looks like something or other was over here at one point. Little caved in area, shut down. Kind of incredible to think about people worked down here all day long for years and years and years and the the max number of miners in this bighorn mine was 50 people so all those guys did a lot of work Ooh, which way oh so we have two ways. Um, I'm gonna actually go this way first. There's a little, there's a little bridge someone created for us. So we'll try to follow it and see how far we can go. So apparently you can go um, down here. If you see, it's a tunnel with a bunch of water in it. Um, I just spoke with a family who said their son used to come down here and swim under there. And there's little pockets of air <laughs> where you can come up and take a breath, but uh, we're not gonna adventure that hard today. came pretty far into the mine um, and I think I went down all the tunnels and reached dead ends except uh, that one area where you can swim through but I'm not uh, like I said I'm not gonna be that adventurous today <laughs> um, but yeah if you go um, it's nice if you go far enough into this mine um, you get to be by yourself because most people don't want to go this far. All right, so we are back again at our intersection. We just finished Bighorn Mine up that way. Now we're heading towards Vincent Cabin, which is Mine Gulch Trailway, okay? So, here we go.
inside the Tom Vincent cabin. So it's just a little tiny, tiny little cabin. Probably, gosh, probably like this, not even the size of a studio apartment, I would say. Um, what is super interesting about this little cabin is that there's actually like original um, belongings of Tom Vincent. Some old cans and cooking utensils. So that was our adventure today guys i hope you had a blast i had so much fun i have been here all day long just exploring around um, taking photos and just taking in the scenery exploring exploring the cabin um, talking with some i've met some really nice people on this trail also definitely not a difficult hike not a difficult trail family friendly for sure uh, everything is family friendly except inside the mine just be really careful uh, small children, I would definitely not take in there. Everybody just be careful, children and adults both. Be careful, it's it's slippery in there, it's cold in there, it's wet in there, it's dark in there. Um, you, need, you need to have good hiking boots, you need to have your flashlight, you need to have a headlamp, you need to, um, um, you need to be aware of your surroundings so you know how to get back out. Um, I came super prepared and I still slipped and I still dropped stuff so so just be careful when you're in there um, you know stay safe I had a blast guys what an incredible day thanks for joining me we'll see you next adventure